everybody, I'm Stu Carter from Atama ETV. Stand by for a Ben 10 toy review. Yes, yeah, so what we're looking at is Bass Mouth. It's one of Kevin's aliens from the Antitrix, right? And uh, he first appeared in season three. It's still going on. The season three is still going on. But Playmates Toys showed this to me last um, October. And they said it's for season four. Although these may be coming out to some stores now or soon. Really, it's meant for release in February or March of 2020, okay? Uh, we're going to talk some more about it, but it's interesting in, in this release, in season four releases, we're going to see several of Kevin's aliens from the Antitrix. We'll talk about that in a minute. So Bash Mouth, well, you know, uh, this group called Man of Action, they're the ones who create Ben 10. And I, they're a bunch of old guys like me. Man of Action are several uh, uh, screenwriters. And I believe they've named this after the rock group called Smash Mouth. It's just, I think sometimes they run out of words or names to use, okay? So one of Kevin's aliens, here's the box. It's for season three from Playmates Toys. You look on the back and you get the little bio about Ben 10. And then you get a bio about Bash Mouth. It says, Kevin's 11th alien, his secret weapon. It's a hulking lycanthrope. Lycanthrope, lichen, lichen is a, uh, a, a, a another word for wolf, right? Lycanthrope with armored plating, jaws strong enough to crack concrete, fists that morph into giant sledgehammers, and a temper that makes wrath look like a kitten. When Kevin goes bash mouth, he loses his temper and his reasoning all at once and endangers everything in his path. So that kind of gives you some information that I did not know about Bash Mouth, uh, even looking on some of the fan sites. Uh, that's interesting. And they get the usual uh, release information of the toys. The only other uh, of Kevin's aliens that have been released yet, to my knowledge, even from the old series, is Hot Shot. And we'll talk about the others in a minute that are coming soon, okay? All right? Well, you ready to open this up and have a look? Well, come on, what are you waiting for? Why am I talking so much? Come on! So, Bash Mouth, he comes with a little stumpy tail, which you'll have to click on, snap on by yourself, no big deal. He has sort of a look like, like they say, a lick and a wolf kind of a look. Some people call it like a husky, which huskies look like wolves. He's got Kevin's anti-trick symbol on his chest, uh, three claws on each of his feet and on his hands, three claws. Plus, he's got an opposable thumb, which is useful, of course, for all uh creatures armored vest right armored vest uh, the small tail the black pants black gauntlets and he's got some steel or iron on the gauntlets and a shoulder pad with steel or iron and you can see that he's a little bit a little bit spindly not too much but he's also a lot more articulated than a lot of these figures like like for instance you look compare him to uh Cannonbolt, which we looked at just uh, yesterday, and he articulates a lot more than Cannonbolt. You know, he's got his knees, he's got his uh, waist turns, as well as his hips. See, he turns like this, so that's kind of good for swinging his arms, you know, for fighting. And you can even, uh, <laughs> if he needs to, like if it's cold outside, he can he can rub his nose. He <laughs> if, he, if he's got a ruddy nose, he can rub his nose with his hands which is kind of good. And uh, yeah, uh, the fact that he's got the big feet, I think helps a lot with uh, him staying up. He's not as spindly as say, uh, uh, Stakefly for instance. Stakefly is one of the worst in my collection for staying on the shelf all the time they're falling down. I have to put the stick on the bottom of the feet. He doesn't really need stick on his feet. Uh, although he's, he's definitely a top heavy kind of guy. Uh, he's gonna stay on your shelf pretty good, I could tell right now by this interesting character. And uh, let's see what I can tell you about this. Uh, I, oh, I just said he would stay, he stays up well and there he goes falling down. <laughs> there, now he's kind of tall there, huh? I said he, got, he, he had his first appearance in season three uh, from Kevin's Antitrix. Apparently uh, from the fan sites, his, he has the power to generate metal from his body 
metallic teeth, which you can't see. I would think if his teeth were so important, he, he would show his fangs. He would like to be do a roar. And speak, he has a powerful roar, which apparently uh, breaks down uh, buildings and stuff too. But his metal teeth can crunch concrete. Uh, he was in season three. Obviously, he's going to be back or else they wouldn't be doing a toy for him now, right? So expect him in season four as, as well. Thanks to uh, Smog and Safia, Sophia, Safia uh, for suggesting that uh, I talk more about Kevin's figures and suggesting that I tell uh, Playmates to make more Kevin's figures. Atomic Box 2.0 uh, suggested that, that Playmates make an anti-trix. Why not? Yeah, they should. They're making these extra figures. Ashley Rose suggested that I do Bass Mouth next, and so that's why, because Ashley Rose requested it. Uh, how can I refuse? Right, and I was at Playmates Toys' top secret showroom just last October, and we saw the, the prototypes of several figures that we hadn't seen before. Uh, and obviously they were from Kevin's Antitrix, and I give a shout out to uh, feedback 105, thank you very much Feedback 105 for helping me with naming these. Uh, some others had these names as well. Uh, we saw Bassmouth and from the Antitrix because you could tell because the sideways Omnitrix symbol, the one half Omnitrix symbol and it's red, that's how we're uh, identifying these. So we saw Bassmouth in, at, at uh, last October Toy Fair in Hong Kong. And then we saw this guy, it looks like Water Hazard, but apparently it's called Undertow, right? Okay. And then uh, there's this forearms looking guy, but apparently it's called Quad Smack. Okay. And then finally, we saw this one, he looks like Wrath, but he's in armor. So is that a Omni Kicks Wrath or is that another Kevin's Aliens because he has the anti-trick symbol, but it's green, it's not red. So does this mean that maybe Kevin's gonna be making nice aliens, good aliens, or what? Or is it a manufacturer's defect? You know, this is a prototype. They're showing me prototypes. They're not like finished products yet. They didn't have one in a package or else I would have brought it back like these others, see? It was really new. It was really meant for probably summer release. So um, we'll see. What do you think? Was it uh, Omni Kicks or Wrath, or is this another of Kevin's aliens that we don't know about yet? Or, well, there's been 10 or 11, right? So, yeah, oh, 11, Kevin 11. <laughs> so will you let me know in the comments what your theory is. Okay, so we know from the back of the package that his species, this is a lycanthrope, right? Uh, but we don't really have the name of his planet. I would think it's probably called Licka or something like that. And we haven't seen it. So I would just give you Stu's depiction of what uh, Bass Mouse home planet might look like. Mm, let's have a look. <laughs> So did you like that? I hope so. Hit the subscribe button. I don't care because it's all for kids channel now. So you're not allowed to get notifications. Did you know that? Yes, change is coming to YouTube. But stick around. Watch for new. Uh, uh, <laughs> what? Watch for new toy reviews. Yeah, that's it. That's what I do. <laughs> and until next time, have a great day.